June 14th, Orléans. Our rescue of Orléans was a setback for our enemies, but only a minor one. The English still possess half of France. Tragically, we have cooled our heels for weeks, while the Dauphin's advisors debate. Joan became irritated with the delay and reassembled her army. She talks of nothing but her mission to drive the English into the sea. The force of Joan's will is titanic. She has gathered to her banner swearing brigands and knaves and turned them into patriots and heroes. Among them is the man Lair, a giant clad in plate mail. He drives men on with curses and fists. There will be plenty of English necks for Lair to break at Pate. Pate is the gateway to the Loire River Valley. The English hold the Loire in a grip of steel. Once the huge army and the surgeon Fastoff devastates the countryside. Joan leads us to Pate to capture the English castles. However, we must avoid Fastoff's army until we are strong enough to face his veterans. After Pate, the myth of English invulnerability was dispelled. Now, our army knows it is possible to win, but only if we are resolute and cunning. The English are a most deadly enemy, and their longbow men have decimated the charge of French knights and Ireland to win the game. To make matters worse, we now face enemies on both sides. The Dolphin's advisor spend more and more time wrangling, jealous of Joan's influence at court. I pray that Joan can complete her divine mission before the Dauphin's envious advisors betray her.